Yeah, head on. One Championship, Asia's largest sports media property, on a mission to celebrate the true beauty of martial arts through the development of global superstars. One Championship has arrived. Bang, I am here with Jared Brooks coming off of a huge win. We spoke before. Uh, you know, you said you wanted to strike with him. The fight kind of just didn't go that way. He kind of came right at your distance uh, close. You grabbed the back. You got the win. How's it feeling? Feels great, man. Um, Bo Kong is a great athlete. And, you know, as you can see what he did to his other opponents, it definitely uh, it doesn't really put a chip on my shoulder until I, I can be the champion. But, um, but yeah, it felt good. There we go. And uh, obviously some big news in one championship today. Uh, you got that Amazon Prime deal. So obviously you're an American. There's going to be some one championship cards uh, at the time in the U.S. where it's like, you know, late at night. Good to watch for uh, the American audience. How are you yeah. feeling about that? That's really, really good. Uh, the American audiences are different from the Asian audience as far as, um, as fighting, but one championship shows it in their martial arts that um, that people should should really respect all facets. Do you think this helps you at all? Because obviously you're the trash talker. You kind of go with the American audience very well. They eat all that up. Do you think this helps you sell yourself as a as a big fighter and a big star in one championship? Yeah, um, I think that. I mean, I'm, I'm myself at the end of the day. I still speak my truths, but yeah, I'm, if people want to call me a trash talker, then, then that's perfectly fine. I just, I express the way I, I feel and the way I think. And that's drawn some comparisons as of uh, late to, to Colby Covington. I know that you've talked that you don't feel you and Colby are much alike at all. Uh, do you care to elaborate on that at all? Yeah, Colby, he goes on to talking about people's wives, religion, you know, crazy stuff like that. And, you know, I don't, I don't really understand that portion. So I would say that's where we differentiate. Uh, I think that Colby is a messy striker as well. Yeah. And, uh, well, you've shown that you can, you know, you can grapple with the best. I know you're looking to strike with the best. Uh, you were able to get the, the finish though, early in this one, right in the first round. What does it mean to be able to get that finish, uh, so early and really leave your mark and, and solidify yourself as the clear number one contender? I mean, it, it does feel good, but like I said, man, I'm not satisfied until I get a belt and, you know, a win is a win and you just move on, treat it like a loss. And, uh, Joshua Pascio is, is is now next in line. Do you have any timetable for, for when you think that fight goes down? It's going to be sooner or later, that's for sure. Um, I think that that everybody's going to be very surprised. And um, and I think that I'm going to shock the whole world, the whole MMA world. And it's going to be the Brooks Dynasty after that. You, you've been fighting uh, quite a bit recently. Uh really stringing together those fights and, and you've talked about possibly wanting to go up a weight division. Do you think if you're able to capture this title, you'll be able to fight in, in both weight divisions with how frequently you like to fight? Yeah. I mean, it's just depending on what kind of, what kind of camps I have, like if I need to get bigger or smaller, you know what I'm saying? So that would take a little bit more time with the camp, especially, you know, I'm a small straw weight as it is. I'm a hundred and, 23 pounds so um at the end of the day i just have to put on size which i can do but it just takes a little bit of time but yeah i'm definitely willing to go against some of the best and uh i know after your uh your fight you said there that you think that Pacio is going to be an easier fight than than Lito was why do you feel that way i mean Lito is more dangerous he just has more explosiveness and uh, he has better boxing. I can catch kicks really well, but if somebody's boxing is a little bit off, I'll definitely uh, expose that. Doesn't really matter who they went against. But, uh, but I've seen Pacio's lead lead kicks to his spinning back kicks to you know his teeps. Uh, I think those are, are where his weapons lie, uh, and he catches kicks pretty well. But 
Um, I think that if I catch a kick, then yeah, he's definitely going either down to the ground or I'm just going to be explosive and try to knock him out. And uh, after the fight, you predicted that you will finish Pacquiao in the first round. Do you still stand by that prediction? Obviously, you finished Lito in the second, and you, you feel it's an easier fight. Yeah, I think that I can get a Pacquiao out in the first round, sure. Yeah, I think that um, that I, w- I want to surprise people on my jiu-jitsu skills as well and how athletic I can be in my jiu-jitsu skills. And I think that Pacquiao is a good uh, person to show that on. In uh, your beef with Adriana Marias, do you feel that's grown over time or, or has it cooled off a little bit? I know that you've still been mentioning each other back and forth a little bit here. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight Adriano all day. Um, like I said, it's not like a, a heated, heated beef or anything like that. He's just like, go against the, go against Brooks no matter what. <laughs> I don't think he wants to see me climb up because he's felt me before so yeah and with how frequently you fight obviously you say you're fighting again soon where do you see yourself in a year from now i defended my title a couple of times and um and whoever they want me want to put against flyweights wise i'm I'm willing to take a flyweight fight but like i said it's just going to take time for me to um to build up and get a little bit bigger Outside of Pacquiao, which fighter in the strawweight division most excites you, and who would you want to fight the most? Ooh, I would say right now Senzo Ikeda. I think that he's on a on a rampage, and if you watched his other fights, I mean, he beat Yuya Wakamatsu already, so um, he's definitely really good. I would say uh, Jeremy Miado, he's good. Um, I mean, I don't really. Gustavo Bellart is just funny. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just think that that would be a funny ass fight. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that Gustavo has any kind of tools to go against me. But I think that Senzo Okada is super tough and Jeremy Miata is super tough. And I saw one championship put out a tweet the other day about a couple special rules fights that might interest the fans. Now, you've talked about Mighty Mouse being an idol of yours. Would you like to follow in his footsteps and, and do one of these special rules fights to really, you know, add to your, your resume and just as a cool moment? Yeah, I think that it would be, uh, I mean, there's no pressure like in, in any divisional, you know, state. So yeah, I'll put it all on the line for nothing. <laughs> there you go. And is there any dream fight for a special rules fight for you? I mean, Rotten, you got uh, John Haggerty, um, who else? You got uh, Will, uh, Mini T. I mean, whoever they want to put me up against, I'm good. Well, there you go. And, and speaking of dream fights, uh, you look up to Mighty Mouse and you want to go up a division. Would you really want to check off the box of, of fighting Mighty Mouse or, or do you have too much respect to uh, to really want to step in the circle with him? No, that'd be a dream come true to step in the circle with Mighty Mouse. I've always wanted to fight him since I was 14. (laughs) So, I mean, he's he's definitely the GOAT no matter what. I've I've watched him and I've I've tried to follow in his footsteps as much as possible. But, yeah, I've wanted to fight him since then. And uh, I saw after your victory, uh, you tweeted that you got to talk with uh, Chatri after the, uh, the bout. What was that like and how did that conversation go? Chatri's just a, a good guy. He's uh, very humble. He was just telling me, you know, s- stick on the path. He was talking about like Johnny Hendricks and stuff like that and how, you know, he was good, but he didn't stick on the path. Um, but yeah, he, he's pretty much in- invested in me in this company. And I told him that I'm invested as well. So it was really a uh, really humbling experience to just sit down and, and talk with him. Yeah, and you've talked about being a, uh, a company man, and you, you definitely helped out one championship uh, the other day with cutting a promo right after the victory. Was, was that something that was planned, or, or was that just the heat of the moment right there? That's just heat of the moment. I, I don't plan anything in there, man. I'm just ready to go and uh, just go with the motions. There we go. 
So uh, could we expect to see you in, in maybe two or three months here, or, or are we thinking even sooner than that? Whenever they want me, I'm, I'm ready for it. So uh, it could be anywhere from there. Yeah. There we go. And uh, do you have anything else that you want to tell the fans? Uh, obviously, with the American audience probably coming over in heaps now with the Amazon deal, anything you have to say to the American audience especially? One Championship is definitely one of the best organizations in the world, and everybody's going to realize that when um, when they can act, act, they can actually show it to um, to other people. Absolutely, and uh, that One X card was crazy. You guys really followed it up really well. Right after that, it was a hard act to follow, but but it really lived up. And uh, I was really excited to see your fight, getting to talk to you before, getting to talk to you here after. Uh, yeah. I can't wait for, for the title match between you and Joshua Paccio. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Oh, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Um, it, like I said, it's always good to, to come and talk to you. Absolutely. And thank you so much. I don't want to take up any more of your time, but uh, oh, no, I really good. appreciate it. And I uh, always love chatting with you, man. Oh, you too, brother. Hope you have a good night.